So what you're telling me is that the way to really understand who can do what within Salesforce is to really look at the aggregate across all of the different permission types and levels and roles and look at them as a whole to make sense out of it because there are many different ways to add and subtract different uh, capabilities basically within the platform. Hey, Ryan, let's talk about Salesforce entitlements and all of the various different ways people can get access to information within Salesforce. Yeah, you know, Kelly, Salesforce permissions are, are pretty complex. And you know, it's not always just about what kind of objects or records and fields a user can access. It's it's also about what kind of you know administrative capabilities they have within the tenant as well. So a lot of different ways that they can get access to do a lot of different things within a Salesforce environment. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And I think it makes sense to do this visually because there are different methods, as you mentioned, um, roles and profiles and sharing permissions and additional ones. So let's jump in and take a look at those one by one and really dive into what they all mean. Yeah, you know, I think if we try to visualize this in, in the sense of the, the data aspect, you know, what, what can a user actually look at when, when it comes to data within Salesforce? You know, we might start with something like a table like this, and, and maybe we start with a profile. You know, a profile might give a user uh, certain columns that they have visibility to, into in a table. Uh, and then we can add in the role as well, where we can start to see the individual records, you know, the rows here as, as seen and illustrated. Then maybe this user goes on a special project and needs a little bit more access. And we add in things like you know, permission sets that might give a few extra columns and the ability to see different attributes. Uh, then maybe we have some sharing permissions as well, because a user might be covering for another employee in the organization. Uh, but then ultimately, maybe down the line, we need to start pairing some of those permissions back. And that's where we can bring in things like muting permissions that might take away some of those permission set attributes. And also things like restriction rules that might take away some of the sharing permissions that we already have. And now you can start to see, you know, the aggregate of all these different types of entitlements or, you know, permissioning objects actually give us the, the overall effective access of this user within the environment. A lot of different things to think about. And you know, ultimately, it's a lot of things to, to add up in the end. Absolutely. So what you're telling me is that the way to really understand who can do what within Salesforce is to really look at the aggregate across all of the different permission types and levels and roles and look at them as a whole to make sense out of it because there are many different ways to add and subtract different uh, capabilities basically within the platform. Spot on. It's challenging, but we're here to help. Awesome. Thanks so much.